fun at all. This story was written by an 1850 by Charles Dickens. It really wasn't a great life for the street people back then, but you can read all about that later. Now, let's visit a different kind of time. Tick tock, tick tock, now we stop the cosmic clock. Halfway across from tick to tock. What time is it? You probably both are familiar with the little Native American princess who left her home on a voyage to London. Are you there, little princess? Little princess!
Turtles had everything turtles might need. They were happy, quite happy indeed. They were until Yertle, the king of them all, decided this kingdom was too small. I'm ruler of all that I see, but I don't see enough. That's the trouble with me with the stone for a throne. I look down on my pond, but I can't look down at the places beyond. This throne that I summon is too, too low down. It ought to be higher. If I could sit high, how much greater I'd be. But a king, I have a ruler of all that I see. So Yertle, the turtle, lifted his hand, and Yertle, the turtle, came here with his hand. He ordered my turtles to swim to his stone, and using his turtles, he opened it down. Then you would have climbed up and sat down on the pipe for the wonderful view you can see most of mine. Oh my, all the things I now rule. I'm king of a cow. No. I'm king of a mule. Yeah. I'm king of a house. And a bush. And a cat. Yeah. I'm I'm Yertle the turtle. Oh my with me, for I'm the ruler of all that I see. And all through that morning, he sat there at five, saying over and over. A great king am I! Until long about noon, he heard a faint sigh. <sighs> What's that? That the king, and he looked down the stack, stack, and there at the bottom he saw a plain little turtle named Mac. And this plain little turtle looked up and he said, Beg your pardon, thinking you're all but I got pains in my back and shoulders and knees. How long must we stand here, your majesty, please? <laughs> Silence! You have no right to talk to the world's highest turtle. I'm king of a cow. Oh yeah, you stay in your place while I sit here and roll. I'm king of a cow. I'm king of a mule. Yeah. I'm king of a house. And a bush. And a cat. But that isn't all, all too better than that. My throne shall be higher. So bottom more turtles, I want about 200. They trembled, they shook, but they came, they obeyed. From all over the pond, they came swimming by dozens, with families of turtles with uncles and cousins. And all of them stepped their windows to the map, and after another, they climbed up the stack. The Myrtle the turtle was perched with so eyes. He could see for miles from his throne in the sky. Hooray! I'm king of the trees, I'm king of the birds, I'm king of the bees, king of the butterflies, king of the air. On me, what a throne, what a wonderful chair. I'm Nero the turtle, oh marvelous me, for I'm the ruler of all that is sea. Then again, from below, in that great heavy stack came a glum from that plain little turtle named Mac. Your majesty, I don't like to complain, but down or below, we're feeling great pain. I know up top, you're seeing great sights, but, but down here at the bottom, we too should have our rights. We turtles can't stand it, our shells will crack. Besides, we need food, we're starving. You, hush up your mouth. You have no right to talk to the world's highest turtle. I root from the clouds, over land, over sea. There's nothing, no nothing that is higher than me. As he was shouting, he saw with surprise that the moon in the evening was starting to rise above his head in the darkening skies. What's that? Say, what is that thing that dares to be higher than your lord of the king? I shall not allow. I'll go higher still. I'll blow my throne higher. I can and I will. Uh, I'll pile some more turtles. I'll stack them to heaven. I need about 5,607. But as your the turtle king lifted his hand and started to order and give the command, that plain little turtle belong in the stack to the plain little turtle whose name is good. Decided to be taken the moment.
Jagger Dugan, you're both correct. Dr. Seuss incorporated many social, political, and environmental commentary into his writings. What time is it? And it's time to go into the looking glass after a girl named Alice. She is now the unwitting subject of the Queen of Hearts.